watch out for the bull. <laughs> Don't want to hurt my cobra. <laughs> In we go, mama. All right. Into the garage. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. Bit of an update. I don't know if it'd be news, and it's certainly not an episode, but a bit of an update. So I thought I'd uh, put together all these cars here for you. Not all of them, but most of them. And, uh, yeah, to show off the uh, the new uh, libraries. So Rockstar, over the last little while, towards the end of the After Hours DLC, um, I guess it would be towards the end of the... So, well, it'd be more like September, it felt like. I don't know. Last little while, September, October. But some of them, just recently, um, have been given uh, new libraries. Yeah, so some of these cards, as you guys may know, are older cards, but they've all been given updates. Yeah, so I think we'll just start here with the Patriot here. So that was part of the reason why I wanted my Mamba. A little bit of a... Another secret reason. I kind of mentioned that in the episode that uh, it reminded me because they got new libraries. So now we've got all the cars. So let's take this around the corner and we'll have a look at those new libraries for those of you that want to see them. Now this one's just kind of an easy one just to get out of the way with. This is the Mammoth Patriot, the uh, Hummer. And it doesn't exactly have new libraries, but it does have camo. Well, it does have new options too, but it does have new, uh, it does have new libraries, but they're really like camo choices. You know, I guess that's a livery, but you know what I mean. Livery, livery. What brings livery. you in today? Livery. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I watch too many people that pronounce it wrong, and then you end up pronouncing it wrong because you think that's right. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the uh, Patriot does have new options, like a uh, light bar at the top and things like that. So there's quite a few different options you can now do. And I guess that kind of goes with the uh, the stretch uh, Hummer. So with the After Hours, there's a, a Patriot that's now a stretched version, a limo version. And uh, along with that, they got new options for this one. So like that roof-mounted lights. Yeah, a lady strip. Yeah. So there's the library choices here. And it's on the blue, so you might, guys might want to change your color if you pick one of these for yourself, the green or some other things, or black or some funky colors, depending if you want military or nightclub. Yep, as you guys can see, these are all the, the regular camos that you usually get. Some of these have to be unlocked with your bunker, your bunker research, modern five color, arid theater, winter camo, urban warrior, nature reserve. Yeah, so you should get all the way to urban warrior without... Um, without needing any kind of unlock without needing a bunker or research yep then beyond that it gets into bunker research for nature reserve naval battle urban geometric coyote geometric large geometric naval geometric which is cool on a lot of vehicles desert fractal urban fractal large digital medium digital Small digital, and that's all of them. All right, let's bring in the next vehicle. I'll go grab that. All right, so now we're back with the Ruiner. Very popular car. And the Ruiner has some new options that people were waiting for for a while. Yeah, so all these cars, um, except for a couple, can be stolen actually. So as you guys are going to see, all these cars that we've seen so far, including the uh, the uh, Patriot that we just uh, shown, um, there's only two cars that uh, that need to be purchased, um, and that is the uh, the Mamba and the um, Coquette Classic. And the rest of them can actually all be stolen or bought for a very cheap price. Yep. So along with these new libraries, they're now available to be bought. In. Um, I believe most of them from uh, Southern San Andreas Super Autos. So let's go to the libraries. Triple white stripes, triple black stripes, triple red stripes, twin white stripes, twin black stripes, twin red stripes, dual white stripes, dual black stripes. And these are kind of cool because they go right to the end. That's kind of a classic Trans Ami kind of look. Yep, on the Ruiner, instead of it going all the way down. Yep, and red in there as well. Black two-tone. Hmm. Cool. That's a library. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. 
So that is the new library choices for the Ruiner. I'll go get the next vehicle. All right, so here we are with another popular choice, the Karen Fudo. Yep, a lot of people uh, like this one as a regular car here? kind of street racer. There we go. All right, so let's go down to libraries. Classic decals. So you can see the Karen logo show up on the top right corner. Yep, Boro Fudo. That's kind of cool. Rusty. I know a lot of people that like doing the uh, the mean um, rust rods and things like that. And they have like a rust rod rust collection. Oh, yeah. Drift missile. <laughs> cool. It's even got the duct tape on the back. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Karen Rally Team. Nice. Cleaned up. Legendary Racer. Number 48, Fukaharu, Scandinavian Flick, Karen Automobile, and Flywheels. Yep, Flywheel Speed Shop. All right, Team Auto Exec. Auto, auto Exotic, I should say. Team Auto Exotic. That kind of reminds me of the, uh, the other library I was just looking at earlier. I think that was for the... Uh, for the Karen, uh, for the uh, Sultan RS. Yep. Rolling dude number seven. <laughs> Rolling dude number seven. Awesome. Garage drift. So another drift one, but a garage drift. And it's backward on that side. I guess it's like just literally going through. Hmm. Natasha drift. And there we got Princess Princess Robot Bubblegum. Princess Bubblegum Robot. Princess Robot Bubblegum. <laughs> uh, and that's all of them. Yeah, different. <laughs> I like that duct tape. All right, let's go get the next vehicle. Overshot it. Here we are with the Bullockon Prairie. What miracle did you want me to perform? Yeah, I think Bullockon's their only vehicle, I think. <laughs> and this is another uh, front wheel drive. Uh, uh, I don't want to call it popular, but you know, some people like to have these like simple, low powered racers. You know, some people actually kind of like that stuff because you know, you get used to the high speed racing, and, and some people feel it's harder to low speed race. So, I don't know, <laughs> street racers, you know, like you'd normally find. And most street racers don't have the kind of money to buy Ferrari, so so uh, you see a lot of these. Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd steal a bunch of these, and I bought the uh, Mamba to complete the collection so that we could uh, go through them all. So, here's the liveries for the uh, Bullocon Prairie inverted tuner decal. Cool. So that's an inverted decal. It's awesome. So in other words, it's inverted. So that's my paint job. So you can change whatever paint color you wanted. So if I pick that, I could change it to red or white or whatever paint I pick. Because the library is actually the black um, over it. That's cool. I wish there was more of that, uh, more of these kinds of libraries with more cars. That's awesome. Because then you can pick whatever color you want for the library. Awesome. Speed Stripe. There's a Speed Stripe right there. Low rent flames. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Retro graphics. Prairie. White racing stripe. As opposed to the speed stripe. White racing stripe. Black racing stripe. Don't think they have any other. No, now that all shows up. All right, tacky tribals. And prairie posse. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of has a Fast and Furious throwback look to it. Dogs Bullock on. Hmm. Extreme Racer. And that's all. Hmm. 
low rent flames. <laughs> Let's get the next vehicle. All right, so here we are back with the What's Maibatsu with Punambra. Nice sports car. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people hoped for this one to get an upgrade or a custom upgrade at once upon a time because it's uh, kind of a um, well-known uh, Eclipse, if I remember right. Yeah, popular street racer though, but unfortunately in the game it's not a very good car. Yeah, so a lot of people had hoped it'd be one of the ones they might have upgraded retro one day. <laughs> So here's the liveries for it. Dual white stripes. Dual black stripes. Thick white stripes. That only go down part of the vehicle. Kind of a good look. Thick black stripes. Hard parking. And vinyl, vinyl tastic. Hmm. Neon tear. Wow, big tear. My Batsu works. Hyperfunction suspension. <laughs> My Batsu racing. And almost had you. <laughs> yeah, which is, I believe, a uh, Fast and Furious reference. Almost had you. I think he was by trying to remember how he responds. Man, you didn't have me. You didn't know almost have me. You didn't know almost have your own car. <laughs> Something like that. There he is. And when he loses to, to Dom. Yeah, almost had you. So there's another Fast and Furious car for you guys that are interested in that. And lots of new libraries for the very popular <laughs> Penumbra. Let's go get the next vehicle. I do love my Cobra. All right, so here is the uh, the Glassy Mamba. Yep, which is, in my opinion, definitely a Shelby Cobra. <laughs> All right, so we just did this episode the other day. You guys might want to check it out if you like the car. You can always watch our episode and uh, see how we did that there. If you guys want to see what we think of that, yeah, I do love. Yeah, spoiler alert, I do love my Mamba. <laughs> So here's the libraries for it. So we picked the white stripe racer because I thought it gave me that uh, Shelby kind of classic Shelby racer kind of look. There she is with none. All right, so it's got white stripes. It's got black stripes, which you can barely see on there. Blue stripes, red stripes, hot red, hot rod flames. I was going to say hot red flames, but it's actually hot rod flames. Actually, that is nice flames. Even looks good with the blue in a sense, so that's that's pretty good. For flames to look good on blue, that's good. <laughs> on the white stripe razor that we went with, the black stripe razor, number 45. That's got a subtle black line. In the back, you can just barely see there. And the white retro razor, number 58, which is kind of cool too. And the black retro razor. Yeah, which again has the same triple uh, lines as that, just in black. And with the number uh, 37. Otherwise, pretty much identical. Well, I guess the atomic does change. Hmm. Orange as well. Orange Retro Razor, number 26. And that's all of them. All right, so that is the uh, De Glossy Mamba. Our Cobra. Yeah, new libraries for that too. Hey, LJT here. Busy LJT. Busy. <laughs> oh yeah, and if any of you guys want the uh, Mamba, they are um, uh, 995,000. So like I said, you can steal all these cars. Except for the two. This one, the De Classy Mamba. And the uh, Coquette Classic over here. 
And you can get it in an open top, a convertible, like an open top, or a hard top like ours. Yep, Inverto Coquette Classic. And the Inverto Coquette Classic is 665000 So, just a little bit of extra information for those that are interested in, in, uh, in getting any of these ones. You can buy all the other ones for super cheap. Or, you can actually steal them. But these two, you actually have to order. That, the, uh, the Mamba and the Coquette Classic here. here. For the magic touch. So we got ours a while back, and I got it in the nice stone silver here. And now we've got library choices. Dual white stripes. Dual black stripes. Very cool. Wide white stripe. Wide black stripe. American. American made. <laughs> I didn't say that right. American made. American made. From real America. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. Numero uno <laughs> on the back. Oh, that makes me think of uh, um, Tell Dig at Nights. Yeah. The Ballad of, ballad of uh, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> uh, numero uno. Number one. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> And of course, Jock Cranley on the top. Number 76. Well, that's definitely good for humor points. Yeah. Red flames. Cool. Blue flames. Ooh, blue flames. You don't see a whole lot of blue flames. Cool. Shark bite. And that's awesome. I don't know if I'd pick that, but that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Goes with all your aircraft. Very cool. And Retro Racer, number 32. Nice. With that white on the front, kind of makes it look like it has a, one of those little front bonnets, I guess they call them. Yeah, front bra, car bra, front bonnet. Yeah. Whichever name you like. Two Tone Racer, which gives it basically a black over top. Number 67. And that's all of them. Cool. Very cool. I like that. I might have to decide if I want to change my stone silver. Hmm, which one do you guys think? Think I should keep my stone silver? Or which library I should maybe pick? Hmm, that's a hard one. And if I should change my color with it too, perhaps. Hmm. Head back over the garage. It's just right over here. I do like my Coquette Classic. Every now and again, I just get it out and it takes over for a day or two. <laughs> yeah, to me, a nice classic Corvette. All right, everybody. So I hope that helps you out with your decisions or if you've forgotten about any of these older cars and maybe want to get it out for the new libraries that they have. Now we've gone through them all. Yeah, so the, these two there and those ones there. And the Hummer there, too, for the camos. All right. So I hope that helps you out, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. And thanks to all our Patreon fans. Hope to see you guys all again soon. Take care, everybody. See you again soon. Take the Cobra back in. Yeah. I love this startup right here. I love that. <laughs> Problem. I wish we could have a car that just kept doing that. <laughs> Uh. Fun vehicle, not a safe vehicle. <laughs> yeah, but so much fun. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Whoa. Oh, I don't know if I've successfully done this one yet. I don't try very hard though. Whoa, it's better on a bike. <laughs>
This is why, this is what happens to cobras. <laughs> oh, but people just can't help themselves buying nearly all of them. 